I'm Ling Zhiyang. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about how budgeting and financial management reflects the procedural competency of local government. With limited resources, local governments reconcile increasing service demands through budgeting and financial management. Budgeting is the process of deciding how to raise and spend money. Financial management involves related tasks, including purchasing, keeping records, and managing money. <clears throat> the budget process including four stages, preparation, approval, implementation, audit, and review. In the next slides, I will give details on the process of preparation, approval, as well as audit and review. Budget preparation is a continuing process because individuals gather and interpret information for future budgets when implementing the current budget. Each fiscal year's budget process formally begins with a budget core letter issued to operating agencies by a leading administrative or executive officer to propel expenditure estimate. State legal requirements determine key dates and the local officials use these requirements as a framework to create a budget calendar that specify internal actions and deadline. Here, I will take the budget process in New York City for an example. In addition to its role as the New York City's legislative body, the council works closely with the mayor each year to develop and approve the city's annual budget. The council re responsibilities related to the budget are board, including giving final approval to the budget prior, prior to the start of the fiscal year on July 1st. The budget process for the city of New York is a year-round process that is centered around a physical year. New York City's physical year begins on July 1st and ends on June 13th. The New York City Charter bests the responsibility for preparing, for preparing an annual ex expense and a capital budget with the mayor. The mayor must then submit the expense and capital budget to the city council for its review and adoption. In the next two slides, I will present the process of preliminary and executive budget in New York City. Preliminary budget. The mayor should submit the preliminary budget, which includes proposed operating and capital expenditure, and forecast of revenues for the upcoming fiscal year to the city council, no later than January 16th. The council then has to hold public hearings on the preliminary budget and statement of bu budget pri priorities of the committee and draft 10-year capital strategy and any borough president recommendations until March 25th. The council usually issues a comprehensive response to the proposed preliminary budget, which includes various policy recommendations and expenses and revenue proposals. In addition, a summary of all the budget hearing held by each of the council committee is propelled, outlining the issues raised and the recommendations of and the re request made by each committee. By April 26, the mayor represents the council with the executive budget, a revised budget proposal for the upcoming year and a complete financial plan for the next three years. The council again holds budget hearings and begins negotiations with the mayor. By June 5, the, the city council completes negotiations with the mayor and then votes to adopt a budget that will serve as the basis of government operations for the upcoming fiscal year. After, after the council votes on the budget, the mayor, no later than five days, may follow any increases or additions the council has made to the budget and any terms or conditions proposed by the council. However, if the council decides to make decreases to the budget, the mayor cannot take any action upon such decreases. The council may override a mayoral battle by a two-third vote of, of the council members. Budget approval. The budget approval process begins when the department has submitted their budget estimates. Central officials review and revise the department estimate. 
and then assemble them into comprehensive budget proposals for submission to the governing body and the publication for the citizens. The member of the governing body look at the departmental submissions, hear from the chief administrator or executive, listen to the public and the in and outside of hearings, and deliberate among themselves. Finally, local officials submit their approved budget estimates to county and state officials. In this process, we can see the transparency and accountability of local government. This is important as budget approval matters to citizens because the budget process determines what they pay for and what they get from their local government. Besides, through the public hearing, local government provide opportunities for citizens to share their views on tax and services and thus increase citizens' participation. The last step, budget audit and review. After budget, budget implementation ends, local governments make repo, reports, undertake audits, and review the concluded physical year. Next, I will take the controller Bureau of Physical and Budget Studies, as known as FABS in your city, for example, to explain the budget audit. The FABS monitors the city's revenue collections in the expenditure, capital pro program, debt, capacity, and economy. Based on the budget and the financial plan document, FABS conduct an overall review of the main components of the city's budget, focusing on in important concerns such as the soundness of the city's physical and economic assumptions, changes in expense and capital budget priorities, and potential developments affecting the city physical outlook. FABS provides a number of specific reports and letter statements that are mandated by the city charter. The specific report include an annual report on the city's capital debt and obligations to the city council, the mayor, and the city planning commission by December 1st. The report examines the maximum amount of debt the city may incur in subsequent physical years and the indebtedness against the general obligation debt limit in the current and the subsequent three physical years. And second, an annual report to the city council on the state of the city's economy and finance by December 15th. Last, by March 1st, the controller submits a third a cert certified statement of debt service to the mayor and the city council. The statement, which is published in the city record, contains a schedule of debt service appropriation for the subsequent fiscal year. According to Stanford and Austin in our textbook, it is in budgeting that the ultimate policy decisions are made. Priorities are established, resources are allocated, and service levels are determined. Thus, a good budgeting management can maintain the integrity of the local government environment and can greatly reduce the cost to make the local government more cost efficient, as well as improve the quality of service to make the local government more effective. This is the reference I used in this presentation. Thank you.